Target 7 told you how Kim Aiken, one of the players accused of hazing teammates on last year's NMSU men's basketball team, did not show up for his arraignment. Mr. Aiken is, is in no way trying to avoid uh, these charges. He is seeking justice in this matter. And our investigative team was the first to tell you Aiken missed his court date because he was playing professional basketball in Luxembourg. Target 7's John Cardinelli joins us now with an update on the case. Yeah, Shelly and Doug, after Aiken didn't show up, an arrest warrant and a $20,000 cash-only bond were placed on him. We've now discovered that warrant is no more. When Kim Aiken Jr. didn't show up to court for his initial arraignment on November 22nd, the judge showed no sympathy. I recommend that you go to your client to immediately uh, make arrangements so that he can appear before Judge Gray before this bench warrant is, uh, goes through a international interval. After that arraignment, a bench warrant was filed. We are obviously um, very disappointed that the court was not accommodating in any way. Target 7 discovered Aiken Jr. didn't show up because he's been playing professional basketball in Luxembourg since August. These are photos of him recently playing from the Luxembourg Amakel Stessel website. He's the team's leading scorer. His attorneys filed a motion to try and get the warrant removed. His attorneys were saying, well, look, he's living in Luxembourg, he's living overseas, he couldn't get here in time. And on Monday, a judge got rid of the warrant. KOAT legal expert John Day says quashing a warrant when someone lives overseas does happen. Yeah, not unusual, especially in a case like this, if there was some assurance from the defense lawyers that he will show up. And Aiken is due in court next Monday. We reached out to his public defender, Laura Smalls, and asked why the warrant was quashed. She said in a statement, quote, we asked and the judge agreed that his arrest warrant be canceled so that Mr. Aiken wouldn't be detained while traveling to court for his hearing on December 18th. For Target 7, I'm John Cardinelli. And John Day says it's likely Aiken Jr. will be able to return to Luxembourg to play basketball as long as he agrees to show up to court in the future. Now we